everybody, how you doing today? We are going to do the initial startup and first print on the brand new Bamboo Labs A1. Very excited, I just knocked out an unboxing video as well as an assembly video. If you haven't checked that out, I'll put those links down below. If you guys like 3D printing, please do me a huge favor, like this video and subscribe. Helps me out a ton and I'm gonna have a lot of 3D printing content on this channel. I currently have five other Bamboo Lab printers, three P1Ss, one X1C, and one P1P, and they're all the combo units. And I also have a, basically I'm almost to where I have a print farm where I sell stuff, as well as, you know, make stuff for around the house. I actually have three of these guys. Um, so if this one's as good as I'm hoping that it is, I will be having three of these in this room as well, along with all my other bamboos don't mind the mess <laughs> when you print this much stuff it's impossible to keep it clean at least for me i don't mind it too much here and there all right guys i am excited first power up um like i said you saw i have five of these they're all amazing they've been printing stuff for about six months for me at least since i had the first one i just recently got those other two p1s's Having a little bit of issues here and there with the AMS units, but having five of them, you're going to run into an issue with one of them here and there. They're not perfect, but they're awesome. Um, so a little fault here and there, totally fine by me where you can print in color. This is by far, hands down right now, the best printer you can buy that does multicolor. So hopefully this one's as good. And if it is, and this AMS works better, because the biggest issue with the other ones is the retracting from the, you know, hot end all the way through the whole entire machine. So these won't retract all the way. They'll actually get cut. And I think they just retract a little bit. And so they'll always be sitting in this tube ready to go. And all it has to do is push it forward a little bit to the melting point. All four of these tubes are going to lead into one chamber. And uh, it's a much better, smarter design. Another thing I'm going to do real quick before we get into this starting it up. Um, in the next video of my review, or maybe just a separate video, I'm going to do a couple of the mods. I saw a real popular 3D printing YouTuber named Uncle Jesse. He made a really cool poop box that you print off and it sits to the side here. Because this is going to flick off a ton of different poop. It's amazing what these machines can do. And I'll be honest, I'm kind of addicted to it. Um, designing stuff and selling it and then people saying how much they love your product that you've designed all by yourself is a really good feeling. It's really quite cool. But anyways, enough blabbing. Let's go ahead and turn this guy on. One thing I love about this, especially the price point, I think it was, ooh, hey, what's up? I think it was five sixty nine, I believe, for the combo. And the fact that they include a screen is awesome. The P1P, the P1S come with this little, I'll show you real quick, come with this little dinky display. It works fine. Once you get used to it, it's simple. And it does work great, but for, you know, six, seven, eight hundred dollars plus, they should include at least a screen like this or the option to add on a screen. Even if I had to pay, you know, 50 to a hundred dollars to add a screen like this onto those, I would absolutely do it. And I know there's aftermarket ones you can buy that work just well, but I just haven't got into that yet. You have the AMS machine blinking the lights and let's go ahead and get started. I'll show you how to set this up from beginning to end. And then we will do probably the benchy print and maybe some other kind of print. To start, we're going to do English, of course, North America, and we're going to connect to the Wi Fi. Touch screen is very responsive, feels really good. All right, we got to connect to the Wi Fi almost instantly, very quick. And now we are going to add this to my Bamboo Handy app. I'll let you guys know if this is quicker or just as long as hooking up. The other machines. The other machines did take a few different times trying to get it to connect. Um, several times actually. Uh, I'll let you know if this is quicker or the same. And what I love about this app too is, you know, you have all your different printers here. So now I'm going to have one to start and then two more of these on here as well. So we're going to go to add a printer. And right now it's looking for it. I like to scan the code. I think it makes it a little bit easier. So we're gonna go to the code, scans it, gonna confirm everything. 
Sorry for the light and the reflection. And this is usually where it messes up. Oh, hey there, see, I just sold something on Etsy that I 3D printed, how awesome is that? Oh wow, it added it that quick. I did not get any of the other ones to add that quickly. And just like that, guys, oh, that's great. Just like that, that is connected much faster, instant compared to the others. So they may have some kind of new Wi-Fi chip or something in there. I have no idea. That's just a guess. But the fact that that connected instantly is awesome. So got that connected. Login successful. And we're going to go ahead and run the calibration. We're going to do vibration compensation, about five minutes. And the motor noise cancellation, which is seven minutes. That's something I have not dealt with yet. I know the X1C has an update that helps with the motor noise. And from what I hear, it's spectacular. Um, I haven't done that yet, but I'll be doing that. And I'll be having a full review on those as well. So let's go ahead and start this. And it is going to run its test. Alrighty, we are done with the calibration. It took about 10 minutes or so, like it said. And it vibrated so powerfully, it was shaking this thing up and down, which is kind of crazy. Um, here's a little tip that I think works really good, guys. Um, instead of having this or any 3D printer on just a table with legs, that when this vibrates back and forth, it's essentially going to take the entire table and move back and forth and it possibly mess up the print. Probably not this one because it's so advanced. Let's say a, a cheap ender or something like that. Um, so what I do is I buy these wall brackets and attach them to the wall, which is super secure into two by fours. And then there's screws on the bottom of this piece of wood that go you know, through metal into the wood. And this thing is solid as a rock. So even though this thing's vibrating, uh, this table isn't moving at all. So kind of a tip that I think really does work well for all my 3D printers. And it's not even that expensive. This whole setup from Walmart, I think, was $80 or $85 on sale. and included the top piece of wood and then the two brackets. So very cool. And it folds down. So if you decide to move your printer, you can fold this down and it kind of gives you back your space. So just a little tip there. Something I'd highly recommend if you're getting into 3D printing. Let's go over... The menu and stuff really quick and then we will print a benchy and i will time lapse that because everybody's seen a benchy but you probably want to see how well this guy does it oh, there we go automatically found a new update so let's of course do that update see how long this takes usually they're pretty quick all right, that was really quick. That took probably four or five minutes to do the update. It rebooted. Touchscreen works really good so far, by the way. All right, let's go ahead and dive into the screen just a little bit. It's my first time using a screen. So filament. That's cool. I'm assuming once you have one on there, it'll show orange or black or whatever. So load and unload, we'll do that in just a moment. Control, of course, that's gonna be your temperatures, speed, light. Let's see how the light looks. Oh, it's already on. It's a little bit of light. Uh, it's for the camera more than anything. That's fine by me. Fan speed, extruder, all that. Settings, my account, my firmware, maintenance, print options, Sound, filament backup. Okay, I definitely want all that. Factory reset and all that good stuff. Uh, assistant, I don't know what that is. That's new to me. No, oh, that's just if you have any messages. I was thinking like a, a Google Assistant or something. I don't know why they would need that, but you never know. I'm sure in the future you'll be able to tell this thing what to do. So let's go ahead and go to print files. There we go, that's quick. Find the benchy. So whistle pan, screw gauge, vase, swatch. I'll probably be printing that later. That's gonna hold all of these different swatches, give it a nice clean look. Uh, use AMS, of course, bed leveling, and the dynamic flow calibration. 
But first I'm gonna put on these spools. This is bamboo spools, which I love because they have the RFID tag. You just pop them on and it reads and knows exactly what you got. I really hope this AMS light is good. Seems like it's a little bit of a smarter system than the old one. So let's see if it picked it up that quick and scanned it that it's black. That'd be kind of surprising. Yeah, PETG black, that's cool. Usually for the old AMS, it has to pull it through quite far and then it spins it around a couple times, I think, to read the tag. Well, that one just barely took it in and knew that it was black. Let's throw on this orange. This is Pet G as well. It should also pick up that it's orange. Then we'll print an orange Benchy, and then we will, I'm gonna print something else and see, compare the quality from this to one of its bigger brothers. So once again, to pop it on, just slide it on all the way. And then this goes in and up inside of here. Now the other AMS, you can usually just force this through and it picks it up no problem. I don't see it forcing through, so you do have to at least push the button. Once again, not a complaint, just showing you guys that you have to do that. Wow, that's really quite good. So you can see it's orange and Right here, guys, it only went into the tube about halfway, and that's all it needed to read the RFID tag, which is great, so much faster. I think I'm really gonna like this. So let's go ahead and try the Benchy. Let's go back to print files, find it down here, and use AMS, of course. Oops. And then next, I have to see, and I think next I would assume is where I choose the color. Yeah, there we go. So I'm gonna do it in orange, why not? And we're gonna print. It should have all the settings stored in here because it's a bamboo. It'll know the temperature and all that. Preparing. So let it prepare and see what it says. Kinda like the little gaming type noise. That's kinda cool, lets you know, okay, I'm ready. Shows that it's recording. There's a camera here too which is really cool. Oh, I have it blocked, so let's go ahead and unblock it and peel off this little sticker. There we go. So I didn't mention it, which I was gonna mention in the review. So light here, a camera, and then there's a little uh, cover you can put if you're worried about someone spying on you. Right now it's doing its basic mode that it always does. Usually do this vibration as well as the bed level. I'm excited for this guys, are you? I think it's gonna do a great job with this like I expect it to and then I like that, uh, I forgot what it's called, the scraper pad there. That really makes sure any of the filaments off the hot end that's really smart. I wish the P1P, P1S, and X1C had that, which I highly assume their next generation will. Looks like it's going to take it up to 60, 65, which is actually what I do all of my prints on in, in PLA. I feel like it sticks much better. Usually the, usually the default is uh, 55, and I have to go in and change it to 65. Because for some reason it doesn't seem to, you know, keep it in there for me. I really like this screen. God, I wish they had my other ones had it all. Five sixty nine for this bundle, guys. What a deal! I might be buying several more of these if it prints good. So now it's doing the bed leveling, and the bed leveling is fast. That is also much faster than the big brothers. At least I feel like it is, maybe because it's new, I don't know. Another thing I like so far about this too, guys, the AMS sound, whenever it pulls and pushes and filament, it's like a the whole time until it's done. This one goes a lot slower and it's not loud like that, so that's really nice to have. Right now it's purging a little bit of filament and it's gonna kick it to the left, which I'm gonna print 
a uh, poop bucket that I found someone made. And I'll show you that in the review video. <laughs> you gonna wipe? Looks like it's dropping another deuce. Wonder if this thing had Taco Bell before I got it. I don't know. Damn. It's a big o, big o turd. All right, here we go. It really, man, really has to go. I didn't know it was gonna poop this much just to start. You slow down on those bean burritos, buddy. It's gonna be his fourth turd from this one print that hasn't even started. All right, let's hope this one goes good. Already looking better. Oh yeah, this is gonna work. So let me know in the comments, guys. It could just literally be that this Benchy is not supposed to be printed in Pet G, especially less fast, because this is a boosted file of the Benchy. I'm assuming that's just my bad. Probably not even gonna keep that in this video. Now I'm gonna switch you guys to time lapse. Alrighty. I like that. Gives you some little music letting you know it's done. So it took a total of 21 minutes with the, you know, bed leveling and vibration and all that stuff. Um, and it looks really freaking good. So if I can pop this little baby off. I should let it uh, cool a little bit. So we'll let it cool. I know I can pop it off, but I don't want to mess nothing up, but... Man, does that look good. It looks really, really quite good. That is a beautiful little Benchy. What do you guys think? Wow, that might be the best Benchy I've ever had one of our bamboo printers print. I am impressed. I really, really like this thing so far, guys. Loving the new AMS, how quiet it is, how it feeds everything about it and I so far of course it's my first print this thing is going to be awesome and I highly recommend it I will be doing like I said a full review on this uh, other videos showing you off what I printed it's pretty much going to wrap up this video um, do me a favor guys please like this video and subscribe let me know down in the comments any questions at all you have on it I'll try to find the answer for you and or make you a video and I would really love for you to join this uh, channel. Thanks so much, everybody. Have a great day. Benchy out.